so feedback nodes are what shift registers are for loops they provide the same functionality that you can retrieve data from previous iteration in the present iteration and you can send the present iterations data to the next iteration and the advantage of feedback nodes over shift registers is that you do not need loops to create shift registers they are independent of feedback nodes are independent of shift registers plus they have a little bit of additional uh, functionality that uh, shift registers alone do not uh, provide so let's go and write uh, the code for our feedback node let's place the feedback node on the block diagram let's create a control numeric control let's uh, change its representation to let's say i32 let's connect it to the feedback node let's create uh, for example let's say we are multiplying or rather let's connect multiply with this numeric then let's increment the data provided by shift register by one feed it to the multiply as well as to the feedback node let's initialize our feedback node with the zero let's create a result indicator let's clean the diagram up and let's see how it works so let's provide it um, with some value and let's run the code so the value goes in and the result is shown here since we have initialized it it always initializes with a value of 0 so if we remove this then the feedback node will remember its last value and use it every time we run the VI so you can use the feedback node in both initialized and uninitialized manners whether you want to retain the last value or you want to initialize the shift register shift register also provides several options for example you can show enable terminal in which case it becomes available here and you can also globally initialize it with these two uh, values initialize on compile or load or initialized on first call to the VI these are not available in the regular shift registers and you can also change the uh, the appearance of uh, your feedback node further you can also change its direction by using change direction so to write this equivalent code in 
uh, in while loop let's see how that will that can be achieved that is if we want to uh, initialize on first call let's see how that can be achieved uh, let's add a shift register first right click add shift register let's uh, create a copy connect and let's uh, create a copy of multiply function multiply the number uh, we will need a case structure for the first call case since it is we are also calling this code only once we would not be using the loop for its iteration purposes but only for using shift register so increment if the code is true in that case we will be initializing it so let's copy this one with 0 and passing this value on let's create a second result let's pass this value on let's multiply it with incremented value in the false case we will just passing this value through and for the uh, first call case we will have to use the first call function so this is how you can use this feedback nodes feedback nodes are more provides more advantages and more features than the simple shift registers uh, do in lab view thanks for watching